The core message of our project is forests, how good are they? I feel that if people have the opportunity to see these giants at the scale of which they are, that everybody that sees this picture will just have to fall in love with it because there's no way you can't be amazed by the size of these trees. Tasmania is an Australian territory located 200 kilometers away from the main island. It is an island with huge and wild areas spreading over more than 68,000 kilometers squared. A shining jewel with diverse landscapes. The Tasmanian forests are among the most remarkable in temperate regions. The tallest and oldest trees in the world can be found there. Less than two hours drive from Hobart, the capital, the Styx Valley is the kingdom of the giant eucalyptus. Before the first settlers came, the island was completely covered with forests. Tasmania has been built thanks to its wood. Nowadays, one third of the original forest is gone. That's why the region has been the scene of confrontations between environmentalists and forestry companies. The pressure is still strong, and those who defend the rainforest remain mobilized. Steve Pierce loves giant eucalyptuses the tallest tree in the world after the Californian sequoia. Originally from Tasmania, he decided to let the world discover them through photography. But for this, we have to go higher. Most important thing, Eucalyptus regnans in the Styx forest are about 500 years old. Despite their old age, they grow rapidly, more than one meter per year. Steve is climbing one today that is more than 80 meters high. It is a slow climb and there's always a risk. The eucalypts are by far the biggest challenge. To be honest, it makes me feel terrified. <laughs> There's no time where I've ever been climbing and felt I have to get in that tree. But once you're at the top of the tree and relax, it's one of the most peaceful places you'll, you'll ever experience because the perspective you have is completely new. No one on earth typically has been in that tree before. As we come above that lower canopy, we just see these towering eucalypts, like penetrating through that lower forest. When you're in the tree, when it's flowering, the smell, it's, it's incredible. And you can hear this, this soundscape of the forest in a much broader scale. You get to see and hear this forest in a totally new way. The trickiest thing about photographing big trees and working in them is trying to find the best position. And it's not like working on the ground. The best position might take half an hour to move two meters. The pictures that I'm taking now are more for me and they're really documenting the changes that I'm observing in this tree, particularly this individual tree. 
The last time I climbed this tree was, was about eight months ago and, and observing the tree now, it is a different tree. The tree, it's very tall and it, it is leaning just, just slightly, maybe one metre. There isn't as many healthy leaves as there were. All the trees in this forest, these old growth patches of eucalyptus, they're, they're old and they're, they're at the end of their lives. The Tree Projects is a photographic project and we really try, our primary goal, is to just show these trees in one complete photo for the first time. The image I had in my mind that I wanted to create was a cross section of the forest. The eucalyptus that we photographed just here, Gandalf Staff, to achieve the result. We were here for 67 days, waiting for that fog to move into the forest, shroud our subject. Our cameras float in the space between the trees. So essentially what we do is we put ropes over the top of the forest, between our subject tree and, a, and another tree. Every half metre or a metre, I'd bring the cameras to a stop, take the set of photos, lower it again, wait for it to steady, take the set of photos, The final image consists of 87 photos. It is a true composite because each photo is from a different level of the tree, a different height on the tree. And there was a left camera and a right camera. And so I had to blend the left and right photo together to make a panorama. And then I blended by hand with a, with a brush in Photoshop, all those panoramas together to form that vertical panorama. The core message of our project is forests, how good are they? I feel that if people have the opportunity to see these giants at the scale of which they are, that everybody that sees this picture will just have to fall in love with it because there's no way you can't be amazed by the size of these trees. The best thing that's come out of this project is that other countries, other scientists, other forestry divisions have invited us to their country to document their grand trees as well. It's a bit of a crusade of mine to let people know and see this. The fight of those defending the big trees hasn't been for nothing. Since 2013, part of the territory has been declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Eucalyptuses in the Styx Valley can no longer be cut down. They'll continue to dominate the canopy. Mm -hmm.